everyone. We're back with some more Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves. And we're gonna start episode 4, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A Cold Alliance. One of my favorite episodes. After a careful analysis of Dr. M's fortress, Bentley came to the difficult conclusion that his demolition skills just weren't going to be enough. If we wanted to get inside the Cooper vault, we'd have to recruit a full-time demolition specialist. However, Bentley's proposed candidate was a shock, my old enemy, the Panda King. As a member of the original Thievish Five, he had a part in taking out my dad and stealing pages from the Thievius Raccoonus. Eventually, I caught up with him, and I claimed back what he had stolen. There was no way I was going to let that monster on my team, but Bentley was firm. He discovered the Panda King had left his life of crime, and was now a monk living a life of quiet meditation high up in the mountains. I wasn't at all convinced, but there was no denying that he had the skills we needed if we were to succeed. So the gang packed up, put on our disguises, and headed east to China. That's right, everyone. The Panda King returns, and we are going to recruit him as part of the Cooper Vault. The Cooper Vault job. Kunlun Mountains, China, 6.31 a.m. God, I love this level. One of the big reasons I love this level is actually coming up really soon, so... Stay sharp, team. For all we know, the Panda King's just as dangerous as ever. How can you say that? Just look at him! Have you ever seen someone more at peace with the world? I'll admit, he does look kinda... zend out. Ah! Uh, Mr. King! Honorable Panda King! We humbly wish to speak with you! I guess he doesn't want to talk. Sorry, Bentley. Let's go. Be realistic, Sly. He is clearly in a deep meditative trance. Huh. It'll take some doing, but I think I see a way to get the team up to his shrine. Good. The walk up here tired me out. I don't want to turn around now. Van. I miss the van. We never had to walk anywhere back then. Okay, okay. Let's just get this over with. Murray, you're up first. If you can get to the top of that pillar, you should be able to use your ball move to bounce all the way up to the Panda King. Okay, bouncing is a lot easier than more walking. Seriously, you guys want to see my blisters? No way, is he serious? Yeah, okay, Master. Bouncing, pillars, piece of cake. Huh, do that. <laughs> I hear that. Sometimes you've got to be firm. No, seriously, was he for real about the blisters? Because, uh, I don't know, it's... Yeesh. <laughs> ah, Penelope. So here we go with Murray. You see nothing. You cannot capture me. Go 
Okay, I'm in position. Penelope, you're up next. I'm not sure if you're aware, but Sly can jump on the small points. Those bamboo shoots would be an ideal means of ascent if they weren't spaced so far apart. Hold on, hold on. Let me see if I can figure it out for myself. It's, uh, got to do with the ice. Okay, so clearly we need more points in order for Sly to ascend. The problem? Where are we going to get them? The answer? Split each chute down the middle, thereby doubling the points of ascension. However, the ice down there appears too thin to walk on, so there's no way to do it by hand. So, I'll need to use my lightweight remote control car to split the trees for us. Perfect! That's it, exactly! Great! Anything for Sly. I love to see him pull off those athletic moves. So as Penelope... I saw the turret on this little lady. Perfect for splitting logs. As Penelope, you're going to mostly play as her gadgets and not her. Which consists of her chopper and remote control car. There you go, Sly. Hope it's everything you could have wished for. Uh, thanks. It looks great. My pleasure. Really, <laughs> any time. Uh, Sly, isn't it time you climbed up there and joined Murray? Yeah, sure. Poor Bentley. Someone's jealous. Sly's oblivious. Sly's always got his mind set on a certain police officer whose voice changes through every single meeting. Let's not give anybody else a chance for romance. Whack the supports up on those pinwheels! Really? Pinwheel destabilization is the cornerstone of this plan! Really? Yeah, really. Jump into my hands and I'll throw you up there. Whee! I'm all done up here. Excellent. Now that the pinwheels are unstable, I just need to light them up with my darts. One shot per rocket should do the trick. Uh-huh. Hurry to them. Miss. There we go. <laughs> Those pit wheels are about to go. Guru, feel up for a challenge? How do I well, that's right. You should be able to persuade the guards to help you get up to those rockets. Oh, hi. Ah, yes. Good old mind shuffling via the guru. That didn't wake him up, nothing will. Rocket number two. Strong work. That fallen pinwheel should serve as an excellent makeshift elevator. 
Yes, it should. Shall it shall. Oh, this is like my favorite part ever. I agree. He's in a super meditative state. So let's just shout in his ear. Now, to break him out of this trance, we'll need to delve into his mind. A hacksaw, then? No, it'll require channeling. Hi, what I do? Sly, sit beside the Panda King. The guru will bridge your minds. Get ready for a big blast of deja vu. I see you carry the cane of the notorious Cooper Thief Clan. Have you come here for revenge? To steal back the thievious Raccoonus? Whoa, this is just like the time I beat the stuffing out of you. Why should you care if I bury a few worthless villagers in the snow? You are a thief, just like me. Uh, yeah, are you even listening to what I'm saying? Insolent child. You shall pay dearly for your disrespect. Still, to honor your Cooper ancestry, I will send you to your doom with the beauty of my new firework technique. Flame fool. Uh oh. Yeah. Whoa. Blasty from the pasty, that's for sure. Fiery wheel! Fiery wheel! Booming chop! Palms of thunder! Fiery wheel! Booming chop! Fiery wheel! Palms of thunder! Fiery wheel! Snap out of it! This is all in your head! My mind is clear. Focused on your destruction. Gotta break him out of this memory loop. So... Let's make him sad. We both know why you're here. You're fixated on the moment of your greatest defeat. I beat you. And forever after you've wondered how it all fell apart. I hate you, Sly Cooper. You've ruined me. Ruined the Panda King. And I've hated you. But... That doesn't make any of this real. Years have passed, and, and we both changed. Come out of this trance. Let's meet each other as we are today, and, and let go of who we were when this fight occurred. You are correct. Forgive me. My mind is not always my own. <laughs> 